<sighs> What's up, guys? This is Hunter. Um, I just got back from the range, and I just I, I used to make a lot of shooting videos when I was younger. I used to do a lot of gun reviews, and I just got back into it. Uh, I've been hunting, I've been shooting the past few years, but I haven't gotten to shoot some of my rifles in quite some time because I've been living in the city uh, down in Nashville. I just moved to Knoxville. There's a great range, outdoor range, and deer season's about to be upon us, so I was like, man, I need to take some of these guns out and get the videos going again. So today I just wanted to talk about the Remington 700 ADL varmint barrel 6.5 Creedmoor that I have. Okay, guys, and here is the Remington 700 close up. ADL varmint barrel. Um, I took the original stock off and I put on this Magpul Hunter 700 stock. I got it for about 250. It was on sale. Really made a difference with this ergonomic grip, almost like a tactical grip, like a Boyd's or McMillan, uh, the Boyd's Pro Varmint. That is, I have this Crossfire 618 by 44. And it's, it's pretty good. It's a good Vortex scope. Um, I only shoot out to about 500 yards here, so nothing crazy. If I was going to go out Midwest, I'd probably put something a little higher quality on it. Um, yep, I got these uh, sling swivel mounts, and I was able to mount the bipod on a swivel stud that you can get for the M-Lock. I do like the bipods for the M-Lock. I go up here. They're pretty cool. Today I was using the Hornady Black Ammunition 140 grain Bowtail Hollow Point. It's a good round. I've got my Outlaw Mile Highlight Gear Glass there as well. Shout out Outlaw. And I'm just going to show you some of these groups. So the 6.5, here's the first shot. I shot here first so I was shooting my 223 as well. It was shooting high to the left. I brought it down about 4 inches. And those were the next two shots again I had to on this one that was still shooting left. And that was the last shot before I, I thought I had it sighted pretty well. This was then the next group at 100 yards. That was right at one inch. So shooting MOA. And then another one inch group at 100 yards. And yeah, so guys, this thing... I mean, it is the ADL. It was only about $500 at Bass Pro when I got it. And, I mean, it's a MOA gun. It did really well. I'm glad. That first shot was a bit frustrating. But this rifle, I mean, the action. You, how do you not love a Remington 700? Some of the actions are a little bit clunky sometimes when you get them. They're not smooth. This one was just perfect. I love the detachable box mag as well on the Hunter 700. It's a lot better than just uh, loading them from the top in on the ADLs. That's something that really stinks about the, the ADLs. But I love the heavy varmint barrel. It's good for a stock barrel. But um, yeah, I'm going to, well, if I didn't already throw the shooting vid uh, video and footage in, then I'll do it now. But um, gosh, this is such a good rifle. I've been dying to shoot it. It's been about two years. One thing I will say before I go, I need to work on this trigger. This stock is about five pounds, maybe five and a half. And uh, it has like a bit of adhesive on it, like glue covering, because I guess Remington had some lawsuits with these rifles. So I can't adjust it on my own. I think I'm just going to get an aftermarket trigger, but um yeah i'm gonna keep doing some videos see if i can you know maybe get this sub moa at 100 yards i uh, might take it deer hunting it's a little bit heavy but yeah guys thanks for joining today if you like the setup like subscribe leave a comment and uh yeah we'll be making more videos soon thank you guys
Guys, I forgot to give my rating of what I think about the Remington 700 ADL. I, obviously, I put the Magpul stock on and, you know, put some bells and whistles on it and some money into it. I probably spent with that setup, it probably cost me, I would say, a thousand bucks. The rifle's 500 plus 250 for the stock, 750 and then the uh, scope, the Vortex, 6 to 18 by 44. I believe I got that on sale as well for two hundred dollars. So nine fifty plus the M lock, uh, swivel stud. So about a thousand dollars. Before I got the gun uh, all set up and just the way it came from Bass Pro, I would give it a six out of ten. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. Um, it could be bumped to an eight, eight and a half if I put some better glass on it. I have a, a loophole rail on it as well and loophole rings. So actually it, it probably cost me around like 1150. So good quality gun, probably gonna have to spend another 150, 200 dollars on a trigger. So I would say for fifteen hundred dollars you can have a really functional, accurate sub MOA rifle um, with a light trigger and aftermarket stock. So that's going to be the end, guys. 7 out of 10. More videos coming uh, this way. I had a good day at the range, so I'm going to give my review of some of my other firearms uh, here shortly.